Over the weekend, I turned my friends into characters from the award-winning series Arcane, and over the course of this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the same. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Arturo and I am an artist and a technologist. In this channel, I share the tools and technologies that I use every day for self-expression. Before we jump into the how segment of this video, let's go over a quick refresher on things like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and neural networks, to name a few. And while these may be oversimplifications of some of these subjects, note that we'll dive much deeper into them in future videos on this channel. Artificial intelligence is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines. This field combines computer science and data science to enable and facilitate problem solving. Machine learning is a subset or application of artificial intelligence and is the study of computer algorithms that can automatically get better at a task through experience. These algorithms are used in a variety of fields such as medicine, email filtering, and speech recognition. Artificial neural networks are computing systems inspired by the biological neural networks that constitute animal brains. An artificial neural network is based on a collection of connected units or nodes called artificial neurons, which loosely model the neurons in a biological brain. Each connection, like the synapses in a biological brain, can transmit a signal to other neurons. An artificial neuron receives a signal, then processes it, and can signal neurons connected to it. Because of this, a neural network is an algorithm that was made to recognize patterns. You can feed neural networks unordered data, like a bunch of pictures of faces, and by doing so, you can train the neural network to learn what a human face looks like. A GAN, or Generative Adversarial Network, is a generative model of neural networks, which means that it can create or generate a new data instance that resembles the training data. Using our face example, we can train our model on human faces and then ask the model to generate a brand new face that doesn't actually exist, as is the case with thispersondoesnotexist.com, which generates faces of, well, people that do not exist. A style GAN is just like a GAN, except it allows the user to have more direct control over the output data instance. In the case of Arcane GAN, for example, we ask the neural network to provide us with an output that resembles the style of the Netflix series Arcane. To convert the images of my friends into images that resembled Arcane's visual style, I used a model hosted by Alex Speedin on GitHub. Don't worry if you're unfamiliar with using GitHub or notebooks or the like, because for the sake of this video, we'll be using a cloud-hosted runtime of Arcane GAN on Hugging Face. Hugging Face is an open source community on a mission to democratize machine learning models. At the Arcane GAN page, we'll be met with a prompt to drop an image or click to upload. And once we've done so, all that's left to do is simply wait. And voila, you've been Arcane GAN. In a matter of seconds, we've leveraged the power of open source machine learning and style transferring to convert our original image into something that resembles the style of Arcane. And while it's certainly not perfect, we've significantly reduced the amount of time it would take to get from one reference image to a stylized image. But wait, there's more. Something else that really excites me about using tools like this is the opportunity to chain and link them. So you can imagine taking a piece of footage, for example, and passing it through a super resolution or upscaling tool. And then once you've improved the quality of your footage, passing that on to something like the Arcane GAN to have it render a stylized version of that footage. If we take into consideration films like 2006's A Scanner Darkly, which used an interpolated rotoscoping technique to drive the film's narrative, what took a team of hundreds of animators 18 months to accomplish was achieved to a similar degree in minutes. Most recently, the Netflix series Arcane also took hundreds of animators at the French studio Fortiche two years to put together, lovingly and painstakingly drawing over frames and incorporating 2D sceneries and backgrounds in the mix with 3D characters and objects. 
while the results of Arcane Gan simply approximate the effort put together by these studios, we can reap the benefits of time saved and spend them better developing our own stories or building on top of the output of these tools to create something completely unique. Artificial intelligence systems have continued to push the envelope of possibility and creativity for decades and will continue to do so for decades to come. They have enabled voice assistants, self-driving cars, music discovery, the diagnoses of medical illnesses well before any human minds and eyes could take the time to cull through, read, and understand data. I mean, I'm using artificial intelligence right now to blur the background in this video and suppress the noise on my microphone. And some of the parts of this script were actually written with the assistance of artificial intelligence, and I'm willing to bet that you couldn't tell which. Hand in hand with this technology and these tools, we can supplement our workflows and move onwards and upwards. Have you used artificial intelligence or machine learning in your projects? And if not, do you plan on doing so? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining or you learned something new, then consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel so that you can let YouTube's algorithm know that this is a video worth sharing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.